Still haven't tried the Lockalicious All Natural Hair Care product line? Well, let's hear what the Lock community has to say about it. I love how how it sprays and how it feels, you guys. Like it feels so good. And it smells amazing, you guys. The Lock and Twist moisturizer was really good for me. The hydration mist was phenomenal. This is bomb, baby. I was really impressed, kind of blown away. And I think that if you're struggling, definitely go check them out. And check out the five-star reviews on our website. So, what are you waiting for? Go to Locklicious.com to start treating your crown like royalty. So I'm pretty sure a lot of you have heard there is a new variant with the virus. Now, this particular variant was discovered in South Africa. And because they discovered it in South Africa and they wanted to let the world know, hey, we have this new you know, variant of the virus, they start losing their freaking mind. Now they said the World Health Organization panel had named the variant Omicron as it classifies it as a highly transmissible virus of concern. It's the same category that includes the predominant Delta variant, which is still a scourge driving higher cases of sickness and death in Europe and parts of the United States. States. Now they say Omicron's uh, actual risk are not understood, but early evidence suggests it carries an increased risk of reinfection compared with other highly transmissible variants, according to the WHO. Now they also says that that means people who already had COVID they say, and recovered could be subject to catching it again. And so it could be weeks to know if the current jabs are less effective against it. And that's the in response to the various discovery in South Africa, the United States, Canada, Russia, and a host of other countries joined the European Union in restricting travel for, for visitors from that region where the variant brought on a fresh surge of infections. Now, uh, the White House said the U.S. will restrict travel from South Africa and seven other uh, countries in the region beginning Monday. It's saying Jim Crow Joe says that means no travel to or from the designated countries except for returning U.S. citizens and permanent residents who test negative. Now, see, medical experts, including the WHO, has warned against overreaction before the variant was thoroughly studied. Say, but the jittery world feared the worst, and the tenacious virus triggered a pandemic that's killed more than five million people around the globe. Now, Omicron has been seen in travelers to Belgium, Hong Kong, and Israel, as well as Southern Africa. And also, something I made sure to post when I had read this, uh, out of Botswana. So the uh, COVID-19 task force in Botswana said the first time they seen it even coming to their country is with their health screenings. Now, check this out. They said that the three people had came into their country with this strain. But guess what these people were? Fully vaccinated. It's not only Bill, uh, Botswana that said that, Let's go to the next country who said that. Israel, let's say one of the world's most vaccinated countries, announced Friday it also detected its first case of the new variant in a traveler who returned from Malawi. It said a traveler and two other suspected cases were placed in isolation. Israel said all three were vaccinated. But officials were looking into the traveler's exact vaccination status. So this is two countries so far saying that people who were fully vaccinated came with this strain. Boy, it's a certain thing I want to go to in this video, but I really have to, uh, I'm going to have to report it the way I need to report it. I'm just doing it for informational purposes. I'm probably going to make another video on our website and really go where I want to go with this video. Now they say the Africa Centers for Disease Control and Prevention discouraged any travel bans on countries that reported a new variant. It, it said uh, past experience shows that such travel bans have not yielded a meaningful outcome. Actually, that's true uh, to a point that is true. It's because it's the thing about that. You ban everybody else from coming in, cool. But U.S. citizens or people who legally residents here go to certain places and then they bring it back. So what good is the travel ban if you really if they can bring it back? You understand? So they say U.S. restrictions will apply to visitors from South Africa, Botswana, Zimbabwe, 
Namibia, Lesotho, Eswatini, Mozambique, and Malawi. Now I said the White House suggested restrictions were mirror an earlier pandemic policy that banned entry of any foreigners who traveled over the previous two weeks in the designated region. So we just wanted to give this news and information about this. Um, I know a lot of our brothers and sisters in South Africa, um, I'm going to try, try to find out myself what's going on on the ground just from people there. So, cause you know, like I said, the, they going to report one thing, but I want to hear directly from the brothers and sisters over there. And some of you can come in the comment section and let us know what's really going on. Now they say it is actually all in one region in the Gauteng region. Um, that's what they say. They have it concentrated at just right there. It's not just widespread all over South Africa. Now their health minister of South Africa said, now the way they reacting is really ridiculous. He said, we the one found out about it. We told y'all about it. We could have kept it hidden. He said, we have to say nothing. And the moment we told y'all about it, y'all, you know, basically you overreacting about it. They say, it's not so much where it's all over the place, right? But these folks, you know, they, they, they scared of it, I guess. My, my thing is, look, do what you know what you need to do. Like I said, I, I tell people all the time, you know, just, you know, take care of yourself, you know, practice good hygiene. I always tell people you should practice good hygiene regardless, no matter who you are, whether it's a, a virus or not. Practice good hygiene. You know, uh, don't be in places where you just don't know these people. Because my dad just told me recently that you had a guy at, at a church house supposed to be going to do the mail uh, course at church. He had, he had the virus. He showed up with the virus and singing and all this other stuff and spreading it. You know, you got to be careful with some people. Some people actually have the virus and don't care. They have to go around you anyway. You know what I'm saying? So you just, you know, just be careful with that. Like I said, I wear my mask in places that I'll say, okay, I'm not around nowhere. I know. No, I'm wearing mine. I'm just going to do this. I know some of y'all are like, I ain't doing that. I ain't doing Okay, you don't have to do it. You have a freedom to do whatever you want, but you know what I'm just saying? You just playing with your life. I do what I do. Okay. So I just, I'm gonna repeat this though. I think it's quite interesting that two countries have said that you got this new variant and the people that they found with it were people that had the jab. Now I, I, I thought that wasn't supposed to be happening. I thought that was supposed to be happening and people that didn't take it. And I'm gonna leave that right there so I don't get in trouble. But y'all let me know in the comments y'all think about all of this, um, you know, this, this panic and worry that these people are having all over the world. Like I said, uh, if you, you do the stock market, you know you lost money because of this. Um, because, you know, the investors, they sell, they sell quick and don't even wanna know nothing else about it, right? But you know, let me know in the comments, especially those in South Africa, what's going on on the ground. Living in America as a black person, you recognize there is one set of laws for you and one set of laws for those, especially in the white community. In our book, Passive Aggressive Racism in the System of White Supremacy, I take you through times in my life when I first started noticing white supremacy. We teach you how to recognize it, identify it, and also counter it in our book. This book is a beginner's course for those that are just starting to wake up and open their eyes to see the system of white supremacy. As a black American person, you must understand this system because this system is life or death to you. How you handle it, how you deal with it, it can affect your mental health if you don't understand this system. Pick up our book, Pass Aggressive Racism and the System of White Supremacy today on Amazon.